Well, there's been a great emphasis on school security in recent months following shooting incidents like the one in Uvalde, Texas. WVTM 13's Chip Scarborough is here to explain the growing need for school resource officers. Chip. Jarvis, the National Association of School Resource Officers based in Hoover says there has certainly been an increase in training for SROs over the last year. The executive director says that's usually a pretty good indicator that school districts are adding school resource officers. He says personnel and training are the two most critical factors for the agency and working to help place a law enforcement officer on a school campus. Some of the things addressed at the very beginning of SRO training include issues around adolescent brain development, implicit bias, school law issues, and students with special needs. Understanding how all of these things apply to the school environment each and every day. When you combine law enforcement and education, it can be a collision if not done properly. I understand that, I've seen that, but I've seen much more uh, what it looks like and what the outcomes are when it is done properly. And it really is about being a benefit to the students and the staff um, and building relationships in that environment. Building relationships so students feel comfortable talking to the SROs whenever there is a problem and potentially preventing further trouble from happening. Jarvis.